Hey folks, did you know that there is an app that quietly runs in the background and blocks ads, trackers and sketchy sites without you doing a thing? And if switching between Facebook, Instagram, Reddit and Thread feels like a full-time job, there is another cool app with a unified interface that makes hopping between them super smooth. And that's just a sneak peek at some of the best apps we are checking out this month. So stick around as you might just find your next must-have. Excited? So let's get started. Now have you ever get tired of jumping between Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, Thread and X like you are running a marathon? That's where Nora comes in. It pulls all of them neatly into one app with zero ads. Yep, no pop-ups, no sponsored nonsense, just your feed and peace. This isn't some magical secret app with hidden servers. It simply gives you the web view of each platform but in a super clean organized way. Think of it as carrying one bag instead of chuckling five. For example, imagine you're waiting in a line at the grocery store. Instead of bouncing between apps, you can scroll Instagram, switch to Reddit to check memes, then peek at thread all without leaving the app. Smooth, right? It's also free and open source, which means no shady trackers lurking behind the scenes. You also don't need root access, you don't need a subscription, and you don't need to sell your soul for premium features. Just install it, pick your platform and start scrolling. Have you ever feel like your phone is more loyal to ads than to you? That's where DNSnet comes in. It's basically a quite little bodyguard for your browsing. Once you set it up, it runs in the background and blocks ad trackers and shady sites without you lifting a finger. The cool part is you can load host of files that blocks thousands of ads or malware sources and even customize what gets enough. Like I opened a recipe site once and couldn't even see the ingredients because of all the pop-up ads. But with this app, you can clean that right up. And if it ever blocks something you actually want, like your go-to news site, you can just whitelist it. And the best part is that it barely touches your battery, work quietly and doesn't annoy you with ads about blocking ads. Now let's be real, your phone wallpaper has probably been the same for months, maybe even year. And if your screen is looking a little tired, Wallace wallpaper is like giving it a makeover without the effort. The app comes with over 140 plus handmade wallpapers, all designed by an artist named Introductor. And the best part is that the app itself feels smooth and clean. So instead of endlessly scrolling and closing in disappointment, you will actually enjoy browsing. Everything is sorted into categories too. So whether you are in the mood for something minimal or something artistry, no ads, no clutter, just good vibe and fresh wallpapers. Now does it feel like your power button is getting more workouts than you are? Then tap tap lock has got your back. With just a single tap or double tap on its widget, you can lock your phone instantly. No extra effort, no button stress. And the best part, your fingerprint unlock keeps working exactly the same. The widget itself is fully transparent, which means it blends right into your wallpaper. It's basically invisible so your home screen stays clean and minimal, no clunky button hanging around. Now imagine you are in bed, scrolling at night and you want to lock your phone without fumbling for the power button in the dark. Just tap your screen widget, the phone locks and you are done. It also uses accessibility service responsibly without collecting or sending any of your data. So in short, tap tap lock is a small simple app that solves a big everyday hassle. You know that little camera cutout on your phone screen that usually just sit there, minding its own business. But with Material Capsule, it turns into something way cooler, a stylish interactive hub that actually does the stuff instead of just blocking pixels. The app wraps your front camera in a sleek Material 3 inspired capsule that reacts to taps, swipes and even long presses. For example, imagine you are listening to music while walking. Just double tap the capsule to skip a track instead of fumbling with the notifications shade. Or maybe you want quick access to a barcode or shortcut. Simply long press the capsule and boom, it's right there. Now it's also fully customizable so you can tweak gestures, color and even add system notification or sliders. And because it adapts to your wallpaper, the capsule always blends seamlessly with your setup. So it looks polished instead of tracked on. Overall, I think this app transforms your boring punch hole camera into a mini control center. It's practical, fun and gives your phone design a little extra personality. Now if you are bored of staring at the same old icons every time you unlock your phone, Vapor Icon Pack is like giving your home screen a shiny new outfit. These icons aren't your average flat designs. They have got a glossy glass-like look, 
with the smooth gradients and soft lighting that makes everything feel way more premium. The vibe is super fun too, even the dull stock apps suddenly look exciting. YouTube glows, Chrome pops and the camera app looks like it's ready for a photo shoot. It's the kind of thing that makes opening your phone feels fresh again, instead of, well, boring. On the practical side, you have got over 1600 plus icons, regular update and the option to request any missing ones. Plus, you get matching wallpapers and KLWP presets to tie the whole look together. So if you're into clean, colorful design and want your Android setup to feel unique without going overboard, this icon pack is a simple way to make your screen look seriously cool. You know how everyone says there is an app for this, there is an app for that? Well, Acrescent takes that idea and makes sure that the app you install are actually safe and private. It's basically an alternative app store for Android, but with modern security baked right in and none of the sketchy vibes you sometimes get from random APK sites. Now here is the cool part. This app handles updates automatically on Android 12 Plus, so you don't have to babysit your apps. It also skips the usual account requirement, which means no handling over your email just to download something simple. Plus, developers keep control of their own signing key and the store uses strong checks to make sure nothing gets tempered with. Now, at the moment, the list of apps available is not that great, but they are working on it. Now, have you ever tried sending a video to a friend and by the time it gets there, it looks like it was filmed with a potato? Yeah, that's where Blip saves the day. It lets you send files, photos and videos in their original quality. No size limit, no file too large nonsense and definitely no ugly compression. Now the best part about this app is that it's super quick and stupidly easy. You can send stuff between your own devices like moving vacation pics from your phone to your laptop or straight to a friend across the world. No cloud upload, no link drama. Honestly, it's like AirDrop but it actually works on everything. Now imagine this, you record your kids school play in 4K and grandma wants a copy. Instead of messing with drives, links and how do I download this, you can just blip it and she gets the full uncompressed video exactly as you shot it. And since blip works on Android, iOS, Windows and Mac, you are covered no matter what device you use. So if you're done dealing with blurry files and annoying limits, this is the easiest way to share anything anywhere. You know how some app feels like that one nosy neighbor who always peek through the curtains. Yeah, that's pretty much what Privacy Scanner helps you catch. It scans all your apps and shows you which one are asking for weird or unnecessary permissions. It's dead simple. Just open it, hit scan and boom. You will see a list of apps and exactly what they are trying to access. For example, I found out my weather app wanted access to my contact. But like, why? With Privacy Scanner, you can spot stuff like that and decide whether you keep that app or kick it out. And the cherry on the top, it's totally free, has no ads and doesn't spy on you itself. So guys, these are some of the best Android apps that you should definitely give a try this month. So which of the previously mentioned app you like the most? Do you know of any other application that we should have added to this list? Do let us know your thoughts in the comments down below and for more future videos like this do consider subscribing and hit that bell icon so that you never miss any future videos from Extreme Droid.